Hello all. So I came up with another video part number seven. In this video, I will be sharing how you can install ADB driver, APK tool, JDX UI, something tool like this in Kali Linux. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, to start with uh, installing part, we have required the Linux architecture, uh, probably Linux, Kali Linux um, operating system. So for that, I have installed a uh, Kali Linux operating system in uh, Windows. So to start with, I'll just start the Linux machine terminal. Okay, I hope uh, the screen is visible. So to start with installation, first we have to require the ADV driver. Again, uh, use to connect your uh, Android device to your machine. So for that, we have required a uh, command like sudo apt get install ADV. So the command is a little straightforward like sudo apt get install adb so it will uh, install your driver uh, in order to communicate with your android device and our next tool is apk tool which is again a pretty straightforward apk tool and it will install uh, all the dependencies related to the apk tool okay so like as you can see here uh, for apk tool we required java so it is installing that open jdk framework to 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 match the dependencies of this tool and uh, as you can see it is start unpacking the uh, libraries which is downloaded um let's wait for a few minutes and uh, it should be about to complete and it is cool now our next tool is jdgui so for that we have again uh, we have to run the command like uh, jd hyphen gui and again it start uh, installing all the dependencies first downloading them and then uh, install all these dependencies as java dependencies are already installed in uh, with the apk tool so it taking uh, dependencies from them and then start uh, installing for the same okay so uh like if if we if we go with uh, commands like adb and you can see all the parameters which is required to connect any of the android device with your kali operating system and uh, if we if we check like our apk tool is installed or not then just type a command apk tool and uh, you will be again seeing all the options which is um, provided by the apk tool um, software or apk tool and uh, let's say um insecure bank so we download the apk file from the repository which is insecure bank and go to the release section and here you can see the apk file just downloaded it okay okay so our next tool is jdx gui uh to install jdx Okay, to install uh, like JDX UI, you can uh, either install to down uh, with download the repository and uh, run the following commands for the same. But if you if you don't want to do that, then just go uh, sudo apt get install and uh, followed by the JDX. It will download your uh, like your binary file in in in, in uh, your Linux operating system, and you can just go with um, JDX and oh. oh. Mm. yes okay so uh to start with you can just select the apk and uh, it will loading that uh, apk to 
extract all the files required files in in this uh, JD, jdx gui and if you can see the extraction is completed the decompilation is completed and if you can see all the source code uh, which is related to that apk is uh, available in the com folder uh, all the required files which which is um, uh, which is which is related to that particular build is required that apk signature is uh, is, is available like it will tell you about the uh, verification of this apk like valid apk signature and uh, if you can see in the free source folder all the uh, related things are available in that in that uh, um, apk in that uh, particular session of uh, jdx gui and uh, if we go to the android manifest file you can see all the related permissions like internet write external stories and sms's um, use credentials and uh, many other like things okay so that's it for today's video see you on the next chapter of the series bye bye